It's week 13 of the National Football League. And coming up, we'll see Stephon Diggs. He's been a production machine with a 1,200-yard season thus far. It's the Bills and the Patriots under the lights on Thursday night. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight we kick off week 13 with a great Thursday night matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. Gone alongside Charles Davis and CD. You look at the Bills in this matchup, but with how good they have been, it's not often that we can say they come into a game truly facing a challenge. But Charles, that, that's the case this week. Absolutely. What a challenge it is because they're not coming into this one and they don't exactly have a clear advantage, something that they usually possess in every game they play with the way that they throw the football. I can't wait to see if they change things, if they emphasize different things that we've seen throughout this season, how they go about trying to move the ball downfield. Looking to throw it right at the outset. And his first pass is incomplete. From the 21 in second and 10. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And that throw there going to put him over 4,000 yards passing now for the season, maybe strengthening his MVP consideration. And you figure with still a handful of games left to play, 5,000 yards is not totally out of the realm of possibility. The way he is playing, I think he's going to get there. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Second and nine from the 44. And Charles, you, you wonder about this defense coming in. I mean, look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances, go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert Off and that. stay Off aware. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. Allen from the gun on third down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it, and the Patriots are going to get it back here just past the 35. Remember, Charles, this is the number one defense in the NFL, and they proved their mettle here, forcing the turnover on the opening possession. And sometimes when you play a team that has that reputation, it's earned it by their play. The psychology is, okay, they're number one. They have to prove it to us, and they try to attack. They found out that that ranking was real. And if history is any indication, when this defense gets off to a good start, look out. Yeah, their offense plays off of them awfully well, too.
Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their 36 yard line. Throwing Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now Jones. He'll find Parker again. Complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Well, look at the numbers for Parker in last week's game. Four catches, 66 yards. He's got room at the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. it to make it 7-0 Patriots. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now, he is second and ten. Play action. Now it's Allen. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines. But incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Throwing is Allen on third. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Well, they're certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 of the year. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. On for the extra point is Folk. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Folk out there now to kick this one off. get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. He's piloted two drives so far and unfortunately not very well piloted. Both led to interceptions. Now they're facing the deficit. Another touchdown after that previous pick. Starting over here. First and ten. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. 
13 yards remaining on second down. To the air, Allen. On the slant, he's got Davis. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Allen off the play fake. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Matt Judon, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And now the ball comes loose. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. Now full for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. The Bills offense and Josh Allen heading back out again. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Allen. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Pats continue to pull away here in this first half. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, he's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. And now out come the Bills. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Allen looks to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. Does look like another three and out here at some point. Got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. Here's Jones on the return. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. 
They find some open field here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And they're going to speed things up here. Jones now on first and 10. He gets it complete to Harris. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Here's Jones. A final shot before break. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. With the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The Patriots send out their punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Singletary to get the drive started. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Allen going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided. Because and he goes down. It's a Patriot set. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through the drop in for an eight-yard loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're still coming out they just can't get out of their own way right now it's created an avalanche and an avalanche it's coming right on top of them here's the punter martin now to kick it away 35 yards that time on the punt and the patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and ten so first and ten and if they score on this drive might have to start digging in our second half blowout material and some room to maneuver. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris, his eighth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Patriots will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. On for the extra point is Folk. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? 
think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto oh, 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 until the clock oh, runs oh, out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in there by Crowder. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Buffalo. Here's Allen on first and 10. They will find Davis. That's complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. Back now in Foxborough. Second down and three. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Allen's throw is complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. First down, Bill. Throwing on first down is Allen. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. But not only is his defense pitching a shutout, now they're contributing points themselves. I mean, they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one. And even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tie game. Extra point up and good by Folk. And it is 42 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Taking in at the three. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 20. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Pass incomplete. He was looking for Isaiah McKenzie that time. And now it's second down. Allen. And Diggs has it. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Throwing now is Allen. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Here's Jones. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Patriots take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Harris going to get it again on second down. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Open man to tight end in Henry. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And there's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. At this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. Uh, he wasn't really big on that. He was big on going ahead and scoring. He's got kind of reincarnated right here. We're watching it in front of us. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now the Patriots 
Wildcats going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Take it in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Allen. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Joe Ron Williams. And the Pats come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. not ready at all well I mean I obviously don't have an answer to that but that was the story from the get-go one side was awake and ready and the other just seemed to sleep so for New England the win gets them back to 500 at six and six on the year and now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals meanwhile for the Bills the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. and eight. And they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets.